Welcome back to the channel, everyone. And today we'll be watching an Asmund Gold video. Uh, <laughs> primarily because I got I got a little bored of uh, a lot of the uh, Bee Gees videos because people kept yelling at me because I paused too much. But I mean, you guys know me; I pause all the time. <laughs> only only one person who can probably beat me in um, a pausing reaction type contest is going to be this guy. <laughs> Anyway, uh, we are going to watch How to Cook Asmongold's $2 Steak. <laughs> and apparently he has a $2 pizza as well. Um, yeah, all right. <laughs> so, boys, so I've wanted to do this for a while. A lot of people have asked for it, and we're finally going to do it. Today hey, I've had, I have that stove. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. I had that stove in my last house. <laughs> hey, I'm going to show you all how I cook a steak. I know how to cook one meal, a steak, and today you're going to... That's not true. I heard it was two meals. ...to learn how to do the same thing. Now, I would say that steak is the most important meal of the day. Usually, whenever I get up around 2 to 3 p.m., I start the day off, I eat one to four cookies. <laughs> yeah, good breakfast of champions, cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a, some gummy lifesavers. Man, how are your teeth still intact? Uh, maybe go down to, I don't know, McDonald's to get some food. And then towards the end of the night, and this is about where we're at now, uh, it's about, looks like a little, a little past 1 a.m. And so this is prime steak time. And I'd like to show you guys. I mean, yeah, I mean, it just depends on your schedule. A lot of people think that's, like, really late or really early in the morning. It just really depends. I mean, I I generally go to bed around 6 a.m. because of my uh, night shift type stuff, and then I, you know, wake up at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. ...is how I actually do it. Now, I don't like to get the good steaks. Now, the reason for that is not because I don't like the good steaks. It's because I don't want to like the good steaks. I mean, technically, that's a good reason, right? If you uh, if you're always on the the cheap steaks or cheap whatever, assuming it's not like you know, gonna cause food poisoning, right? You will save an untold amount of money. <laughs> the fact is that I've been using these steaks. I've been getting these steaks now for I don't know, probably fucking ten years, and my mom always made them for me. And uh, these are these steaks right here. You guys can see I've got them in a bag. And uh, this whole bag, it had four steaks in it. And it Are those like the super thin flat steaks? The, the kind of like the flat iron ones? Was, uh, how much money was it? Uh, this thing's all fucked up. What does it say? <laughs> oh my God, what a piece of shit. Okay, I'm going to have to open this, which is all right, because, you know, we're going to have to need to do that for the steaks. So I'll show you guys how much uh, my steaks are. And uh, this is a meal I usually make for myself multiple times a, a, a week. Uh, $7. That's actually a pretty good deal for uh, what looks like two to four steaks in there. So it was $7 for four steaks. Okay, yeah, the, the super flat. Okay, okay, I gotcha. The cool thing about those steaks, though, is there's, they're really lean, so technically they're not that bad for you um, as far as steaks go. Um, I mean, look at Asmongol. He's super, super thin. <laughs> um, now, that doesn't necessarily mean he's healthy. You can still be unhealthy and be super thin. It's just not not exactly the same. Here, And uh, I get these, as I said, all the time. Uh, they're delicious. I have no complaints. I have no problems. I like to keep things simple. I like to keep things cheap. So next thing is you're going to need a, uh, well, you're going to need a pan. The thing is that I... Uh, so he pan fries them? Okay. Yeah, I mean, in my case, I'd probably use a grill, but that's primarily because um, it's just, I guess it's just, kind of how you grew up doing it, right? Like, I've always had a grill of some kind, you know, whether that's a charcoal grill or a, a gas grill, or in this case, I now have a, an electric grill, which I know for a lot of people isn't a real grill, but I'd probably still use it over um, using it on my stove. But that's just because, you know, that's it's kind of what you grow up with, right? I have about 20 pans in my house. 19 of them are dirty. Well, actually, 20 of them are dirty. I'm about to have to clean number 19 or number 20 here. And uh, I really just clean and, and use the same pan over and over. Yeah, it's just extra seasoned, right? And, you know, lightly clean it. Uh, and it stays seasoned really well. So it's it's his... He would... Um, 
he would probably really like a cast iron pan if he got like um because they don't have to have super expensive or super heavy ones just one of the lighter ones smaller ones a cast iron pan that he seasons well and then just lightly um wipes off whenever he's done that'd probably be a nice little upgrade to his um setup without causing too many major changes because you know a lot of people love their routine right i don't think you're gonna want to see this but uh basically i had this problem with my sink and uh basically the sink uh, wouldn't, uh, there was, it wouldn't, like, uh, wouldn't, uh, fucking, uh, like, drain. The mm. sink was, like, black of, like, water, and that was a fucking problem for, like, two months. And so I got a liquid plumber, and I fixed that, and so now it's, it's not a problem, but it was. And, um, but anyway, so... <laughs> I love that random tangent. <laughs> I mean, it's... Yeah, it's an important thing. I mean, last thing you want is black mold sitting in your uh, sink for months. Well, let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and clean this. So you see right here, there's uh, there's these little flies. I don't know why they're here. It's just some fucking bullshit. And so the first thing you do, um, like obviously I, I... Might have something to do with the fact that 19 of your pans are dirty. Uh, <laughs> I mean, little gnats are going to find their way into the uh, house regardless of what you do, no matter what happens, right? I hate washing dishes. Um, so do I. I. I only I only use paper plates and plastic uh, utensils. I think that sometimes I have to use a, a real fork and knife for this. There is no silverware that is clean in the house. Mm. <laughs> uh, that would drive me a little insane, but I mean, to each his own. Maybe, um, I mean, look, he's got a ton of paper plates, right? So you can save a lot of... Uh... A lot of time washing dishes if you just use paper plates for everything. <laughs> uh, that was not, that. I just, I, I don't really do that. And uh, there was a lot of dirty silverware. And then every, every about like every two months or so, I have this like kind of, I'm, I'm trying to think like what to put it. It's like a midlife crisis. It's like a mid-month crisis because it happens all Where he just goes to buy silverware? All the time. And uh, basically what I do is I clean up like three things in the house and, uh, you know, maybe I don't drink soda for like five hours and I think to myself, like, I'm going to turn my life around and I feel such an overwhelming sense of pride and accomplishment. That actually kind of feels like OCD. It seems like he's having like an OCD rush. Um, a lot of people, like I have OCD, so a lot of people have OCD and some of us take medication. Uh, <laughs> um, but what happens a lot of times for not everyone, but at least for me specifically is that will happen. Like, i like my office is okay. Um, but you know, a lot, a lot of people think that people with OCD specifically love to keep their houses ultra clean, but that's not necessarily true because it depends on the person. Uh, some people do that, but other people don't like touching and moving things. Um, I had a friend who's crazy high level of OCD. It, it basically made it so his um, room, if you sat down in a chair, a cloud of dust would come up because he refused to touch it or clean it because he didn't want the dust to scratch any of his furniture, which in my mind sounds insane, but you know, in his mind it made total sense. So I, I totally get where Asmund's coming from this. From an OCD standpoint, you know, you get these crazy bursts of energy. You're like, yeah, I'm going to clean this entire room and we're going to keep it clean forever. And then like 15 or like 30 minutes into the task, you're like, I don't know, maybe I just don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> it's, it's not the same as like um, ADHD, though. I figure that, you know what, I've earned myself a little bit of a break. I crack open another cold one and... Uh, you know, throw the garbage back on the floor. And so that's generally how things go. The handle of the pan, uh, it's like falling off. Uh, you can... You should be able to screw that back on, right? I screw it back in. And I tried to screw it back in with a kitchen knife. Uh, but I need a screwdriver, but it's been like a pain in the ass for like the past six months. Okay, okay. That's like a... Hmm. That's a different level of... Uh of a problem <laughs> so okay maybe it might be a little more than ocd for asman but um i mean that's not that's not necessarily a huge thing if if he's happy with everything he's doing then i guess who cares right <laughs> and um it's just been fucking annoying the screwdriver's up at the garage i just and anyway so uh number one we have the pan now also we have to have uh as with any good steak what do you eat with the steak 
Mm, steak Great sauce? Great question. You eat a potato. Oh, a potato. Uh, yeah, that means steak and potato. That's actually a, a pretty decent meal. Uh, definitely energy-wise, it should keep you going for quite a while. Now, uh, I this only, are a little I said, low, but I mean, I only make this meal. I uh, do this all the time. You have one potato. Now, uh, okay, give me, give me a minute. I gotta. This is really annoying. I've, now I've got to clean a fucking fork too. Uh, all the forks are dirty because. I was eating steaks with them. I tried doing it with a plastic fork. Yeah, those things like shatter though. <laughs> and the plastic fork melted. Oh, melted. Uh, melted onto the pan. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> when he's making the steak, he uses a metal fork. Okay, yeah. And Oops. so that was really kind of unfortunate. And so we don't use plastic forks to make steaks anymore. Uh, this is some fork my mom ordered. It was some overpriced thing. You know what, you know what Asmund might like? He might like the forks you get like at Smart and Final, where it's like a dollar ninety nine for a twelve pack of the metal forks. He might knowing well. Don't forget, he's basically rich, uh, but you know he lives like he's not, which means he's gonna retire great. <laughs> but um, um, but he might like to invest in just like the super cheap metal forks that you can buy like thousands of for like a hundred bucks. Uh, now, is that uh, good for the environment? No, but uh, does it matter? Not if one person does it necessarily. It's just like a restaurant. Uh, at, uh, on eBay, I think this, you know, this like whole set was like a hundred dollars. So that's pretty pricey. Worth out of it. So next thing you do is you want to. Uh, oh, oh yeah, I forgot about the potato. So the potato. Uh, this is how I cook a potato. Stab it a bunch I of take holes. Take the fork and I stab the shit out of the potato. <laughs> this is what my mom told me to do because she didn't want to have to fucking put it in the oven. And I stab and the fuck out the microwave. The potato, and I put the bitch in the microwave. I'm spoiled. When I first, when I moved into my new house, the best upgrade in the house was not the sink that you can talk to because you can actually talk to my sink and be like hey pour a third third of a cup of water and it'll do that it's weird it's it's a garbage sink though because it's always broken uh, <laughs> it's the microwave that has the automatic potato sensor <laughs> that's that was the best upgrade for my entire house <laughs> oh and i have solar on the top of my house so not even the best upgrade it's it's obviously the microwave with the potato sensor I thought it was going to be bad, too, but it wasn't. I put this bitch in for eight and a half minutes. Mm, I guess eight and a half minutes. It depends on the um, wattage of his microwave. So, so yep. you need butter. You want to put butter on the pan. Uh, I don't even know why you do that. Uh, I just see other people doing it. I really have no idea. It doesn't matter. Yeah, well, anyway, let's go ahead. I'll just put it. It tastes good. That's the big thing. <laughs> Over here. And I'll just put the butter. I mean, you guys can fucking believe that I put the butter on the pan, right? Like, I don't have to fucking bring you guys over here. I mean, I saw it, like, fall into the pan. Believe that? All right, good. So, anyway, uh, you put the butter on the pan, and <laughs> you turn the pan on. And so, uh, usually leave it on for, like, maybe a couple of, uh, a couple like, 30 seconds, a minute or so. And uh, then we're going to go ahead and get back into... Uh, the steak situation. So uh, I have three things that I put on my steaks. Let's go ahead and talk about them. Um, Salt and pepper. So uh, oh. this is a Worcester. Man, I hate that name. That was the dumbest name ever. I know it's some guy's last name, I'm sure, but Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire <laughs> sauce. Uh, the reason why I do this is because my dad does this. Um, it tastes good. They were Why out not? of the uh, the craft Worcestershire sauce, which is like literally like way cheaper. Yep. So I had to buy this shit. <laughs> hey, if you want cheaper, uh, Asmin, if you ever see this video, Smart Final has like a huge like quart size, or uh, it's like three times the size of that one. So it's like a two liter bottle for like a dollar forty nine. <laughs> it's all the same. Who gives a fuck? And so also, uh, this is steak seasoning. Uh, Salt oh. Lake is a place here in Austin. Uh, I went there one time for uh, uh, some fucking thing, and uh, it was pretty good. So I, I decided to get the steak seasoning. Steak seasoning is pretty good. 
and uh, also we get lemon pepper. So oh. those three th Interesting they use lemon pepper and steak seasoning at the same time. I mean, it makes sense, I guess, to a degree. I, I don't know why I never thought of that. Of course, I usually use lemon pepper on, like, chicken, not necessarily steaks. Maybe I should try that. kind of sounds fun. Things. Those are, uh, that, that's the steak ingredients. So now, as you can see, uh, the... Uh, I was going to say, as you can see, you can't see it because uh, I didn't, I'm too lazy. I don't want to uh, <laughs> put it over here. But yeah, there's I like believe fucking, you. Uh, like uh, butter in like the pan and shit, right? And so um, every time that I cook a steak, so like, you know how like women take pictures of like their food? You, you know, you, you go on Instagram. Yeah, okay. To be fair, a lot of people take pictures of their food now. Not just women anymore. Now it's just like everyone. I mean, it's like some girl. She's taking a picture of her food again. Uh, I'm a man. I don't do that. <laughs> but I do take pictures of every single steak that I cook. I cook the exact same steak every single time. Okay, well, I mean, sure. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. I take a picture of it at the end. That way I remember how good it was. So let's begin. Uh, we've got a steak. Okay, so I had to pause it for a second because whatever music uh, Asmin is playing in the background, I thought it was coming from my own computer for some reason. <laughs> it's like, it feels like it's uh, like Age of Empires in the background. Steak right here. This is a, oh, this is a good one. Oh, yeah. So it's not a big one. This is a nice, uh, nice little small meal. Uh, I'm about 6'3 about or so. And... Uh, I don't know if we want to get we want to double up on steaks today or not. This is definitely a smaller size steak. Ah, it's fine. If I'm hungry later on, I'll just eat another cookie. Um, and so this is yeah. We'll just we'll just go ahead and go with this steak right here. Uh, I stab the steak a little bit, get a little. Uh, that way I get the uh, this this the, this the butter in there on yep. the steak. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys. I'm gonna move you a little bit over here. And so you gotta shake shake this bitch up, right? <laughs> and the reason you do that is because on the back of the bottle it says to do it. And so uh, next thing, I mean that's a good reason to do anything, right? If it said, if the bottle up, tells you to do it, and I'll show you. It's kind of like um, you know, like toothpick uh, instructions. <laughs> the fact that toothpicks have instructions is a problem. <laughs> you guys, what we're doing here? Um, we get this. Oh, I'm fucking up. Uh, so you guys, you guys mess me up. Uh, I got to the audience first. Huh? I think the okay. seasoning's better. Uh, now, now it's 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 cooking, and now, now I'm 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 getting stressed out. Oh, fuck. Okay. All right. So so I put I, I I put this on the steak. There we go. All right. Good. Oh my god. It, it's okay. All right. All right. So then uh, we get the lemon pepper. I mean, to be fair, it is a lot harder to uh, you know show your steak being cooked while holding the camera <laughs> when you would normally just pay attention and cook it right sure. and this Izzy taught me how to make a steak but I don't know if she'll like the, my own little things I put on all right so can I, can I shake this one I, I don't remember okay so anyway we'll put this on it'll be fine I don't think I shook it so then it's there okay. you go there's the steak oh wow what a good steak and so then after that obviously you got to turn the bitch over and so what you do there is you turn it oh shit um, so you turn it, fuck, okay, um, alright, alright, no, no, no. I mean, for the type of steak it is, it doesn't look that bad. I mean, it's a cheap, nice little steak. I mean, yeah, a lot of people would like the, you know, thicker cut steaks and things like that. But, I mean, if he likes it, who cares? We're good. We're good. We're good. Why did so many people so I'm, I'm make videos of against this guy? Now, sometimes, uh, we're gonna go for, I usually put a little bit more of this right here. And we got, oh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> almost poured like a whole like three tablespoons on it we're gonna get a little bit more on there and i know some people are gonna think that i only get my i only eat my steaks medium oh uh, sorry not medium rim. I, I i get steaks medium to medium well at restaurants mm -hmm. but at home i only cook steaks well done the reason for that is because um I, i'm paranoid i don't want to eat something that's oh man that's a good ass fucking steak man now okay so yeah i understand i understand why um a lot of people would like to uh, eat a steak well done um you're way you're way less likely to have uh, any sort of accidental food poisoning um now 
when it comes to stakes, you do have a quite a bit of leeway in a lot of ways. So even even when you're going like, you know, somewhat rare, you're really not in a ton of danger. <laughs> but, you know, if you make it well done, it's you're in a a lot lot less danger. <laughs> and look, if you like if you like a steak well done, or if you like a steak uh, medium well, if you like a steak rare, it doesn't matter if that's the way you like it. Cook it that way. It does. It doesn't affect anyone but you. <laughs> and so anyway, you get you get it in a pan. Oh, that's smart. You get all those sauces on mm. it, and you just really have yourself a good time. Um, I have <laughs> to take a picture of this one after the video. And so anyway, let me put this back on and uh, talk a little bit more about. Oh my uh, gosh! Sorry. Look at all those dishes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I didn't see a dishwasher. There's a good chance that they, they, they just hand wash dishes, and I, I kind of get how uh, how Asmin kind of lives now. Uh, there's nothing directly wrong with that. I see why there's flies, but I mean, as long as the house isn't in like you know complete disarray and like uh, basically condemned, does it really matter? <laughs> Things that I do. How are we doing? Yeah, we're doing good. And so anyway. Um... So basically, I take the steak and I just put it back on the pan, uh, up and down. I, I gotta um, fucking uh, shit. Okay, so I'll probably have to like. It's, it's probably too hot. Uh, just, just another. It's uh, it happens sometimes. Oh wow, what a steak! <laughs> and so. Hey, look, he's happy. That's all that really matters, right? Uh, just a minute. I. Oh, you might end up burning it a bit. Uh, a little bit too well I done. One time I tried to make something else that wasn't a steak. Now I only make steaks. He might like something like um, an Instapot where you just throw everything in and you press start. Then then he could probably make quite a few items, but, you know, he'd have to actually go buy the thing. <laughs> I'll put this back in the refrigerator. The only thing I have in the refrigerator... Uh, is is cake. Um, That's a good thing to have in a refrigerator. Cake. <laughs> I, I get and Dr. Uh, I Pepper. Get cakes at, at the grocery store, and I, I eat them. So the steak's pretty much fucking done at this point. Uh, the good thing about these steaks is that I get them and I cook them about the same time that the the potato is getting microwaved. So this is a good. I totally forgot the um microwave was um on for eight minutes still um I, I guess it's a good way to time a lot of his steaks so he was always going to guarantee it's most likely well done that way he doesn't even have to bother with temperature points quick meal now usually i eat steaks about six times a week uh with like one day being chipotle actually that's not true maybe two days being chipotle some days that I, I do have... And McDonald's. ...have Chipotle and a steak at the same time. Oh, yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, so I'm a, I'm a pretty tall guy. Uh, I'm like 140, 145. I'm, I'm getting a little fat, to be honest. I want to be 145. <laughs> Maybe one day. <laughs> honest. Um, I don't eat a lot of food, basically. I'm not a, I'm not a big food eater. So this might not seem like a big meal to you, but to me, this is delicious and it's great. Yeah, I mean, that definitely, I would probably have, you know, two of those. A potato sounds good. I'd probably put a little extra butter that I probably shouldn't have on there. And then I'd also probably have like a side salad or even another like side just in general. So, yeah, I mean, the way he's eating is probably healthier for me. Uh, I should probably eat that way, at least for the next, like, six months or so. But uh, I don't know. In general, 50-50. Because -50. Um, he, can, he, he can be still unhealthy, even if he's super skinny. It's not, it's not a whole, like, um, only fat people are, uh, or overweight people. Oh, jeez, I'm going to get canceled. Only overweight people are... Um, are uh, at risk of any major health th uh, problems. That's more true, but it's not always true. Um, the reason why I like steaks so much is because of the fact that I just think that they taste really good. Uh, I'm actually really glad that they're easy to make because if they weren't easy to make, 
I would never eat them. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. That's a legitimate reason. <laughs> Until I like it. Well, sometimes they'll take me out for like a business dinner and uh, you order like a $200 steak and it's on the company card, so fuck them. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's also fair. But besides that, I mean, we're talking about $7 steak packs on a daily basis. Uh, usually I go to the grocery store, I get steaks, I get potatoes, I get cookies. I mean, if you're thinking about it, he eats the like, two steaks a day, um, maybe one steak, depending on how big it is. You're looking at maybe like thirty-five to forty dollars in groceries a week per for one person. That's actually a pretty low amount. That's a pretty good deal. Um, cookies, depending on the cookies, they could be a bit more expensive uh, if they're like the big cookies, but or if he just gets like a box of like Oreos or whatever, and then um, whatever cakes he's getting. I assume for him it's gonna be like the cheaper kind of. Um, like pound cake type stuff, right? Oh yeah, there's these uh, new uh, Dr. Peppers mm. that have uh, like... I do know he spends a ton of money on soda, so there is that. Real sugar in them? Uh, they're pretty good, so I get those two. And that's about all I get at the grocery store. Sometimes I get the, um, I was like this, let me see if I can show you guys. Do I have any? Um, they got the strawberry ones now and the vanilla ones. I had to stop drinking soda. I'm mostly drinking just tea now. Yeah, I do. Uh, so, this is also one of my special snacks. Um, basically, I have uh, Best Buy April 2022. Okay, so we're going to throw these away. Um, anyway, so yeah, uh, these are... Uh, Expired. Uh, like uh, yogurt, uh, yogurt things, and it has like strawberry and blueberry, and it's frozen. Uh, I've never seen the movie. Oh, I thought you said they were frozen, as in it's like, you know, actually frozen, like from the freezer. But I just realized it's from the fridge, and the, <laughs> it's the movie frozen. Anyway, uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and just put this back. Um, so the steak is pretty much done. Uh, mm -hmm. And so the potato. If you want to take a look? I'll, I'll, I'll show you the steak. Uh, this is a. This is. This looks like a good ass fucking steak. So, you, you take a look at this. Look at it. You can literally see it's like steaming. This is. It's emanating power out from its. Uh, uh, from its edges. So you have that. That's obviously a steak. This is a delicious. This is going to be a delicious steak. I can't wait to eat this one. So I was watching a uh, an anime, and. Uh, I want to know what happened to the potato. I saw it because I, I got Crunchyroll because I wanted to watch uh, Fist of the North Star. Mm. And, uh, you know, I'm a big JoJo fan. Yeah, and, that's a good uh, one. Heard it was inspired by that. Oh, I put... Oh, fuck. Um, so anyway... Uh, you put it back on the hot burner. Oops. I had that. And so I saw this... Um, I saw this uh, fucking anime. It was called... Um, my stepdaughter's, uh, my stepmom's daughter is my ex. What? <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. <laughs> and I watched the first episode. I watched the first episode as a meme. And then he's like, oh, this is actually really good. I'm going to watch all of it. <laughs> and I'm on episode seven now. Yo, yo, that sounds about <sighs> right. stuff away. <laughs> And I, I, don't, I don't. I try to. I try to put the stuff that I'm not using away. Uh, there's no real reason for that. It's just that it's a pain in the dick to use the uh, the microwave. Uh, if if there's something in the way, yeah, that's basically about it. And so now I have uh, paper plates right in front of me, and these are. Uh, let's see. Uh, these are really. These are the high quality. Uh, you know, uh, people. Ask yeah, you get those uh, cut-resistant ones, the uh, the uh, microwave uh, ones, and the uh, soak-proof shield ones. Those are the good ones. Uh, those are probably about those. Ask me, like, what do you do now that you uh, you, you know you, your your stream does well and you make money? Uh, well, uh, I, these paper plates is only like thirty of them, and it was like five dollars. That's actually pretty high for a paper plate. <laughs> So these are the these are the hard, real. This these are the steak paper plates. These are the paper plates like the ones you off. won't accidentally cut through. So uh, you get the you get the paper plate here. You put the steak right there on the plate, and then 
Let's get the potato. Um, the fucking potato. So you put the potato right here, also on the plate. And uh, do I have a knife? Oh. Yeah. Looks like the potato might be slightly overcooked, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, yeah, I just gotta as long as he mind. likes it, who cares, right? I'm running out of battery on my phone because I didn't charge my phone, and my phone's also running out of memory. So this video is going to have to be over kind of soon, because uh, I also want to eat the steak. And so <laughs> uh, I'm going to just cut this bitch open real quick, just so you guys can see what we're all about. And so you cut that potato open, that's a good fucking looking potato. Man, it looks way softer than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be too dry. You know, oh, man. Looks look fine. That. And so you see this right here. This is what, what, what we eat uh, pretty much every day. I, I've never gotten sick. I've never had a bad, like, I've never gotten sick after eating a steak. I've never felt bad after eating a steak. I'm a simple man. I live a simple life. I like steak and fucking potato. And I don't care if it... There's nothing wrong with that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I mean, like, my favorite thing is I could eat chicken every single day. I could just do it. I love chicken. I probably couldn't do steak every day. But I could do chicken and potatoes every day. It's a cheap steak. It's a good fucking steak. And it's good enough for me. So anyway... I guess a bunch of videos came out about this, um, this specific uh, video. And uh, Asmund Gold barely turned this into a gold mine because he basically just reacts again to more uh, reactions of the video, which is great. I mean, why not? <laughs> but uh, but apparently a bunch of people were like, did like uh, like tried to remake the steak, but they didn't like the worst way possible and kept making mistakes on it and then saying that was all horrible and everything else like that. How do you fail at making the steak? <laughs> uh, before I usually leave the kitchen area. Uh, this is the pan here. Mm -hmm. You watch this As one pan? As you can see, it's dirty. So what we do is I just put water on it. And I soak? And I do that because this makes it to where like uh, it's easy to get the stuff off. And then I just leave it on the counter until the next steak time, which will probably be tomorrow. Yep. So yeah, uh, I wanted to share kind of uh, what what I'm doing and, and kind of how I make these steaks. And this was an interesting video because it's uh, it's so different from the way Asmongold normally talks with like, you know, full confidence in, um, in all his, of his streams for the most part. Um, now, that's not 100% true because I haven't seen a lot of his stuff, but uh, I've seen a decent amount. And this was, uh, this is more interesting because... Um, I don't know, it's, it's kind of more of a raw video. It just seems more, um, it's just more unique. I don't know. I haven't, there's no complaints on it. Uh, he likes what he likes, and that's all that really matters. Everything. I know a lot of people ask about it. Uh, this was a method. Um, Izzy taught me how to make steaks, and she probably will not be happy with some of the little twists that I put on it, but I think I'm doing great. And I also use A1. For my steaks mm. i've been using a one for a long time this one is empty i left it down here to remind myself to get more a1 i have four more bottles upstairs that's the only thing that bugged me about a1 steak sauce is their stupid bottle makes it almost impossible to remember if it's full or not unless you actually pick it up and open it i think one of them has actually isn't no it's two of them that, that are empty and that I'm pretty sure A1 started off in like the UK, and then they renamed it into uh, when they um, brought it over to the US. I can't remember the original name though. And there's two that are not. Cause, yeah, yeah, because the other one is like a different kind of A1. Yeah. So anyway, I use A1 with my steak. So anyway, guys, uh, I wanted to do this video and kind of show you all how it's done uh, by a steak master. Thank you so much for watching. I might do another one of these. Peace. Well, he did do another one. It's the $2 pizza. And we're definitely going to watch that one. I don't know. I had no issues with Asmongold's $2 steak. It looks great. I mean, I probably wouldn't have made that specific steak. But I'd probably make a $6 steak. Um... And that's just because I like them a little bit, you know, a little bit thicker, you know. But uh, I just don't really like the super thin flat type, uh, flat iron type steaks. Um, but a $6 steak wouldn't be too much of a difference. <laughs> anyway, have a good day, everyone.